Yeah, there is Salman and you are watching Zeta Alliances. And today, we are going to resolve another error regarding flashing this call come forms. Uh, that is a super solution. There is very easy solution. And but the problem is very tough. And I searched the internet over here. And I found a very very difficult solutions for this problem. This is specific. I will tell you in a minute. But I figured out how to resolve this. So, uh, in the previous video, I showed you the two problems of the Q fill, and as a result, I break this device. See. When I connected this battery back and just when I powered it on, you can see it is bricked and it's wax wax screen. To fix this, to fix this when I downloaded an unfamiliar firmware, unfamiliar firmware of unattested, untested firmware of Vivo 1 Y53. So what happened? Just see. First, I have to boot it into EDL by short-circuiting the test points. You may know about it. I did this in the last two videos. To do this, and your PC screen, just open the device manager and connect the phone with the USB cable while short-circuiting these test points with any user or force it, whatever you call it. I'm just going to connect it to PC while calling this two steps. Okay, uh, today uh, I, in my first attempt I was able to connect it uh, as a, a QD loader driver you can see in the device manager. Okay, I will now just open my, my QFIL and, and I will show you the flashing of an unfamiliar firmware to this and I will show you the solution of it. I will extract this. This is the firmware which will permeate my phone and it, I will just copy this passcode from this. This is from the GSM developers and uh, I extract this to somewhere else where. Well. Okay, I'm going to oh, extract in this extract without confirmation. I entered this password. Okay, and it's just extracting until it, it extracts. We launch the Q field. I select its port. Okay, and I click on the flat build. Just browse tool for the Firefox file. I Move back one step back and I will select the newly created directive which is a marshmallow file I remember by this name mm it's a breakable file so it still does not complete the extraction now it completed now when I will browse for that it is extracted in that file now it's not on that if there, if there is nothing I think it is it will not no programmer file so i have to find from another side another folder and here i'm just finding the programmer file that is the same that's i trust from this programmer file i did many times flash and succeeded uh, just for sake of this problem and solution i'm just telling you this is another problem okay so I selected that programmer from this folder, but from the load XML I will load from this pad file or untested file. So I am loading the raw programmer zero and patch from this folder too. So when I flash this, so see what happened. I think it will start flashing, but after flashing you will see that what happens to it. And while it's flashing, I will tell you the exact story what it happens. 
This is an untested formula when I apply it to when just for practicing up. I was just trying repairing my phone. I was actually repairing my phone's IMEI. And I encountered many of the many problems. I just curated uh, two videos earlier and this is a third video. And I thought that this is one of the problems that the pupils are unable to solve these because the solutions on the internet are very difficult for these problems. This is just like a permanent break. You are not going to resolve your uh, this specific problem that I will I'm going to tell you what problem I'm going to encounter. First of all, after flashing this phone, I am going to encounter a case with a totally dead. In the last video and in from the start of video, it was just a, a half break and just a wide 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 screen and um, there are many signs of life but in this uh, in this case we will not see any sign of life so it will be for my break. And whenever you will detach the battery points again at age, whatever you will do, you will hold this power button for 30 minutes, 30 seconds, or whatever you will do. This is, is still this will be still on the QD loader port. It means it's part on break. See that the flashing is done. See what happened to this. Okay. The flashing succeeded in finished download. We will remove it as a USB cable Okay, if uh, we disconnected the battery lines, we will connect it back uh, for, Before connecting back it, we will just for sake of safety, security and double checking uh, We will press and hold the power button for a few seconds that if it vibrates and uh, releases the call com port or not EDL port or not it is stuck. I know it is stuck in the ideal mode. Then I will show you the resolve solution to resolve this error. Okay, now I connected the battery pack. Now I am going to press and hold the power button for a few of seconds. See this if this works or not. I think that it will never going to work because in the last videos it never worked for me. It never, never, never worked for me. Seven, eight. 9, 10, and if I counted for 60 seconds, for 120 seconds, for more than 120 seconds, it never worked for me. See this? No, nothing is going. No sound, no vibration, nothing else. And the battery is properly connected. I double checked it. I know this is a problem. I'm just going to share the solution with you. Okay? Okay, if this is certified that this is permanent break so even if i connect without touching these test points even i just plug in the usb cable you can in the device menu you can see the qd loader uh 900a drivers okay this is a strange problem and it's very difficult to resolve it's a very very difficult to resolve if you follow the internet Tutorials of what I followed and actually and accidentally did this I accidentally found this solution and I'm just sharing with you to, for the help of the humanity And I complete now what I will do you is to Again if I try This disconnecting this cable disconnecting battery even if I now I have a working workable flash file. Okay, I am certain and I am sure that that is workable. That is 3.0112 split image. I know this is 100% location working. Okay, this is 100% working. I flashed this last time in the last, uh, last videos and in this video I am also flashing with this file. So I am certain about it. Okay, no problem, no doubts about it. Okay, I'm just going to flash with the same Q fill. Just browse through the disk and now I'll move back one step and this is the file programmer. I selected the programmer, flat build stick. Uh, I select no ports because mobile disconnected. So I'm going to load the XML file. And this time I'm going to load XML file from 3.018. This is a cache file, a okay file, and paste it from the same folder.
So at this time, I minimize this. Okay, I disconnected this. I will just uh, inserting my cable. Even the battery is disconnected. See what happens. Even it is stuck in the QD loader mode. Uh, you may might think that you will flash this with a QFill and with any flash file and it works. So check it uh, if your thing is <laughs> all right. Or not. So if I click on the download button with this complete setup. Uh, so see what happens. Uh, it's about three seconds. Sahara completed, and see if this uh, done or not. I hope uh, this is a, a still stop here. It will nothing is going to be mourned for me uh, because it is uh, a stuck QD loader. I am just waiting. Even for this, you can see this. The download file file was failed. FHL loader failed. Process failed. Process failed means I have to reboot this device into again into the ideal mode. But this mobile phone is stuck in the ideal mode, and it is never going to be reboot from this ideal mode from normal mode or again in the ideal mode. So force exit this phone in the from the ideal mode. What should we have to do? Close this QFL. What I found is the solution. I found the solution with the QFill, the minimum version 1.02 zip. Extract here. Just open that QFill. And uh, shorten these names to remove spaces between these. I am just renaming QFill to QFill this version. Or to fill I can. Okay, this is okay. So remove all the spaces between this. Then if I run QFill, it loads it as older interface that was initially. Okay, my it will run. It run. Now from the port I selected the previous port. Okay, now browse for the programmer file, the same programmer file. And for the .xml, I will the same XML and same page zero. Now, if I click on the load, see what is the magic. Or once we have to reboot this file form again, just once. See if it works or not. See, you can see that. You can see that it clearly works. You can see that, and uh, this is a uh, start flashing in boom, and the uh, blue bar is still working. And it, uh, this also indicates that after flashing done, this will exit the farm house. Uh, if it is in fair middle of the flashing, we will try not to move it more and more. But uh, the, I'm just checking about that the battery is connected. Uh, I'm just holding it steady and just waiting for finish. That was a huge problem and finally I found it a solution. And this type of a, and this version of the QFIL, it's just getting the port from a previous port if it is, even if it is stuck in the QT loader mode, just you have to disconnect the cable and reconnect the cable and just start flash and you will exit the port and you must have to flash with a working file this time and this time you must avoid the last flash file which break your device okay this is necessary necessary after flashing we will see the results so you may also wait but please not escape uh, not for my just profits it's just for you because in the middle of this flashing process i will talk some about some such things that are not written anywhere that will give you a plethora of knowledge that will, that, that will those will keep away you from any further errors and further problems and might you will find might you will find solutions of your possible problems that you might encounter in the future as in this amazing if this is
I am also waiting for my flash file to complete and after that I will I am just curious to see the results. I hope it uh, will complete successfully and I did I told you for you to practice just before creating this video and I succeeded and uh, just I was practicing and finding the solutions to my out from this permanent fix permanent to break and stuck in the cutie ladder mode and that was so strange for me but finally I did and just I'm sharing with you Okay, wait for reset done, the phone is done, the flashing is done and you can see it all over here, it's cool. Wow, I mean amazing. Yeah, we did finally and it's working file and we emitted our We scared our we emitted, we removed, we leave our permanent QD loader port so it will go and it will show the final interface so I'm not going to show you and <laughs> not boring you by showing that you still got both so many. Thanks for your watching. That's enough for this video. I placed all the necessary links in the description. You can check that. The remaining software which you will not find in the description you may google and download from internet. I hope you enjoyed this video and got benefited from, from this video and if you did don't forget to give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and just not only subscribe ring the bell so my friend my friends you will never miss any upcoming tips tricks and advanced tutorials thanks for watching and stay tuned i will see you in my next video until then keep smiling